What's going on guys and girls? I'm Brian and I'm back. I haven't been around. I haven't done a video in like two weeks. Uh, you know, I got caught up in life, I want to say. Um, I took some time off from work. Did a video when I had time off from work, but after that, when I went back to work, I actually ended up getting sick. You know, I thought it was because they increased the medication of mine because I have diabetes. And then they put me, they took me off my insulin because I'm on ins, I was on insulin for type two diabetes, but they took me off, and then, you know, a whole adjustment there. But um, you know, I'm okay now. Um, so I'm back making a video and this isn't a review this is just a vlog uh, it's not scripted or anything so I'm just trying to do the best I can I don't ever script my videos whatever comes out comes out so I hope you guys enjoy so a couple of announcements just want to let you know you know I um, I watched a video not too long ago and you know he was doing a vlog and he was talking about some stuff and he was talking about going back to the gym and stuff so I want to let you guys know that I'm back at the gym too. He actually inspired me to go back, along with my new doctor telling me that I need to go to, to the gym. So I'm doing that. I'm getting healthy again. Uh, another announcement I have is my fiance and I are expecting a child in January. Uh, January 12th is the due date. And she's 23 weeks pregnant right now. And it's my first child and her second child. And... We don't know the sex of the baby yet. If it's a, We don't know if it's a male or a female. It's a surprise. So I just want to let you guys know that. And also, I want to give a shout out to Rich D and his crew over at Lifestyle Vape in Brockton and Middleborough. I want to thank you guys for your support w with all my videos and my channel and everything and supplying me with products for review. That's where I go to buy most of my stuff is Lifestyle Vape. So I want to shout out to them because they are fabulous in that store. The guys are nice, they're knowledgeable, they're respectful. You know, they, they tell me, oh, you know, every time I come in and, you know, I grab something, they come in, oh, are you going to be reviewing this soon? Are you putting this up on your YouTube? I'm like, hell yeah. I'm like, this is a point why I'm coming in here and picking it up so I can review it. You know, because I love doing this. I may not have a lot of stuff to review, but... I just like doing videos. I just love doing it. You know, I got into this a couple of months ago, and I enjoy it. And that's why right now I just want to let you guys know where I've been because I do have subscribers. And speaking of su subscribers and viewers that watch my videos and people that are subscribed to my channel, I just want to thank you for your support as well. So that does that about that so now with the vape related stuff a couple of things I just want to tell you I do have a review coming up video on this this is the Asmodus Minikin version 1.5 150 watt box mod cute little device a couple of things to it but we'll get to that in the next video and also what I want to talk about mainly in this video is a couple of weeks ago Rip Trippers he started this campaign called the rights to vape campaign and it what it's doing is benefiting the AVA and R2 BSF and what it is is donations at a fundraiser for the president of the AVA his name is Greg Conley and what he's doing is he's going around state to state talking to all the political people you know representatives and congressmen and women and the whole nine yards but you know, he has to travel to each state and stuff like that, and it costs money. So, Rip Trippers came up with this campaign called the Rights to Vape Campaign. And what it is, is if you donate money, you get on this um, wall of fame, they call it. And your name gets posted up on the website and how much money you um donated so i want to tell you guys that i did donate i donated fifty dollars to the ava to this rights to vape campaign and i'm not on actual rip trippers list but if you go to generosity.com and i will post a picture of it if you go all the way down past the list you'll see at the very bottom of the people who've donated everybody who's donated basically and i'm at the bottom and it is under 313 vapors 
that is me. That is actually my original name before I turned into Habitual Vapors. So that's me. Just want to tell you guys that. And I donated $50. So. The amount of money that we that this campaign wants to raise, the goal is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And today they have raised so far, everyone has raised by donating to this campaign is two hundred and five thousand dollars, eight hundred and eleven US dollars. And it was raised by one thousand one hundred and eighty two people in one month. That's quite a bit of people. And that's quite a bit of money. And it, when you look at this, fundraiser co-organizers, co Zamplebox put in right off the bat a $50,000 collaboration along with Indoor Smokers, JT Vape Stars, Suck My Mod, Mike Vapes. Um, they had donated. They were fundraiser co-organizers of this. And then some other names that I mentioned, a Phil Basato. DJ LSB Vapes, Vaping Heathen, Zofi Vapes, Ambition Vapors, Vapor, Tra Vapor Trail Channel, Grim Green, Vapor Chronicles, Vaping with Twisted 420, Tia Vapes, Vapefight.com. And that's a special thank you. Then it says, th then there's a list with top contributors. And then after that, top contributors, and then individual names whole bunch of them and then it, it talks about it and then at the very bottom it says donation levels then it says five it starts off with five dollars in the united front and then you keep going down and then you click on where it says donation is 1182 i'm down there so i just wanted to talk to you guys about this a little bit and i think this is a really awesome campaign because what the FDA has done is basically trying to destroy this vapor industry. And we can't allow that. You know, I know for me, somebody who has a lot of health issues like diabetes and stuff, I can't, I can't smoke. Um, if I were to smoke, you know, due to the fact that I have poor circulation in my legs, um, I had some issues with them. It would just constrict my arteries and I'd probably have a heart attack or something. So that's one of the reasons why I don't smoke. And when I started vaping, it was all about quitting smoking. But it isn't, it's not even about that. I don't even have an urge to have a cigarette anymore. I just vape because I enjoy it. Okay? I enjoy the fact of vaping something that it tastes delicious. <laughs> Seriously, like I love some of these delicious flavors. Um... You know, I do it, and it's a hobby. I love to build, and I love to do reviews. And I love to do reviews because I love to give back what was given to me. I love to help people quit smoking and go to vaping. I just love it because it's such a better alternative than smoking. Okay, cigarettes stink. Okay, they taste disgusting. They make you not be able to breathe. And that goes into the whole gym thing. Like, for me, when I smoked, I used to smoke two packs of cigarettes a day, okay, couldn't breathe. Couldn't breathe for the life of me. Huffing and puffing on the treadmill and everything. I, I just couldn't do it. It was horrible. And then once I started not smoking and started vaping, after about a week of just vaping and not smoking, I was able to exercise. I was able to do the cardiovascular, go on the elliptical, go on the treadmill. And now... I'm back at it, and it usually, like, when I stop going back to the gym and I do cardio, usually I'm huffing and puffing the first couple of times because I'm out of shape, but that wasn't the case this time. Um, I went on an elliptical and the exercise bike because I can't do the treadmill really. So, one other topic, and I know a lot of reviewers get this too, is, you know, people ask me all the time, what do I vape? So, I want to tell you guys what I vape. So, first of all, my favorite combination, my favorite mod, and my favorite tank has to be the, uh, the Rollo RX200 series in the Smock TFE8. Um, in this Smock TFE8, right here, I have the RBA base in it the, with the stock coils, and I am vaping it at 84 watts. And 
And what I'm vaping in this is my very favorite juice. Um, it's a breakfast. It's a breakfast e-juice, and it is breakfast Atelio's Crunch. Uh, what it's supposed to be is like a crunch berry cereal, and it is delicious. It is my absolute favorite e-juice out of them all for, like, breakfast flavor juices. You know, I go from breakfast flavors to fruity, so that's, like, my very favorite. And I have another Smock TFE8 with, I have the juice in here, I have... It's called Crunch Time. Um, this stuff is awesome, too. It's a Captain Crunch treat with with uh, marshmallows. And this is actually the regular .15 octuple coil. And I'm vaping this bad boy at a buck twenty. And my other mod I'm using today is the Asmodus Minikin, getting to know it, so I can do a review on it. And I have the Griffin 25 on top of it, and I'm vaping it at 60 watts, and I'm vaping another breakfast at Telio's flavor called Bits. It's a rather new flavor. It just came out a couple of months ago. I did a review maybe a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago on, on the juice, and it is absolutely delicious. To me, it tastes like marshmallows. I don't really taste cereal. I love it. And my other favorite tank that I have, and I just switched it out real quick and put it on my as uh, as modus minikin, is the Avocado 24. I still use this tank all the time, and right now, sorry, I had to get a hit of that shit. Um, I just discovered a new flavor that I love for fruity flavors. Uh, do you guys remember watermelon bubblicious? Well, I found a flavor over at Love Lifestyle Vape. It's this right here. It's called Bubble Gang. It's called OG Bubba. Yeah, OG. Original gangster, I guess. Bubba. What a name. But what it is, is it tastes exactly like Watermelon Bubblicious. This stuff is fabulous. I've been addicted to this stuff ever since I bought the bottle. That's all I've been doing is vaping. And then there's another juice I like. I, I don't have it with me tonight or in a tank. What it is is called Sir Lollipop. I think I had featured it in one of my videos. I think with the when I did the Griffin Mini. And it's like a great blue raspberry lollipop. Fabulous for candy flavors. Because uh, I go from one extreme to another, like I said. I like... You know, I like breakfast-style cereals and custards. And then I like the fruity stuff. So... That's what I'm vaping on, and this Avocado 24 never gets old, man. This is one of my top favorite tanks, and, you know, I own a good amount of RTAs and, and sub-ohm tanks and stuff, and this has to be one of my favorites, and I know it came out a while back, and I did a video on it a couple of months ago, but guess what? It's still going strong. The flavor on this thing is absolutely amazing. The cloud production is absolutely amazing. And I, it's just the, the watermelon flavor here is just coming through real good. Oh yeah, look at that cloud. Woo, chunky clouds. Nice, thick, white, milky clouds. And I think this juice, if I'm not mistaking... If I'm not mistaken, I believe this juice is a 70-30 VGPG. VGPG. So that's that. So that does it for me today, guys. My very first vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I do the best I can. So if I earned your subscription, please like this video, share it, subscribe to my channel, follow. I also have a Facebook uh, under Habitual Vapors Vapor Reviews, or Habitual Vapors. And I also have a, um Instagram, which I, I really don't post on the Instagram that much, but I'm going to stop posting again. It's under Brian underscore Habitual underscore Vapors. All right, guys, so that does it for me today. All right, I'll catch you next time here on the next video. 
So until then, vape on. Oh yeah.